Now what we're going to take a look at is posture. So what I'm going to have Tiffany holding Shannon in proper position. Again, what you're going to notice, Shannon is on the ball of her foot. As she comes forward, it's not that she's bending at the waist. Essentially, she's coming forward at the ankle. Head and eyes looking straight ahead, focus straight ahead on an object, making sure chest, hips nice and tall, making sure the butt is tucked, and being on the ball of her foot. One thing you can think about, shoulders slightly ahead of belly button, and the spine or back is nice and straight. The next drills we're going to do are going to work on posture. That's making sure head and eyes looking straight ahead, chest nice and upright, making sure, which was really important, that opposite arm and leg work together. So in this drill, we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg, and what you're going to notice is they're going to drive the arm back. As they drive the arm back, they're going to be on the ball of the back foot. And when the arm comes forward, the opposite leg is going to come forward, making sure toe is upright. And begin. Switch. 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 Switch, switch, switch. The next drill we're going to go right into is marching in place. Again, what you're going to notice, opposite arm, opposite leg, head and eyes looking straight ahead, really driving the arm back. And begin. Driving it back. and stop. The next drills we're going to be doing, again, is focusing on posture. We're going to make sure we're marching and we're walking with the march. Again, head and eyes looking straight ahead, keeping chest, hips tall, landing ball of foot. And then after we do that drill, the next drill, the next progression is again marching to the cone and then skip to a march out. And go. Nice and tall, ball of foot. And now the second drill, ready, begin. Head nice straight ahead. Skip to a march. The next group of drills we're going to work on is essentially building on top of one another. Again, we're focusing on posture, keeping our head and eyes facing forward, making sure chest and hips nice and tall, landing ball of foot. So the first drill we're going to do is we're going to march to the first cone, skip to a march, run out. What you want to notice here is when they skip to a march, they're keeping it nice and tight, meaning with the leg action. When they sprint out, watch their first step, but you'll notice that their hips and chest stay tall, head looking straight ahead. The next drill we're going to do is a skip to a march till a run out. Begin. Nice and tight, good. Staying tall. Begin. Keep it nice and tight. The next few drills we're going to do again is so in our posture phase of drills. What we're working on now is a little bit more focus where our chest is nice and tall head looking straight ahead, but more of the focus on the lower half, making sure our legs are driving up and out, landing ball of foot. The next drill we're going to do is a straight cycle out. So let's take a look at these two drills. Begin. And begin.
The next drill we're going to look at here is again we're going to cycle. We're going to cycle to the first cone and then we're going to sprint out. Both groups are going to do this really focus on their knee dry, drive out, making sure head and eyes looking straight ahead, chest and hips tall. And go. Keeping the weight forward. Good, go. The next drill we're going to work on is quick feet. So essentially as soon as the foot hits the ground it gets off. So we're really working on quickness and what you'll see again is them working their arms, chest staying nice and tall, hips tall, head looking straight ahead. And the next progression off this is essentially doing quick feet again to the cone, sprinting out, working on that first step, making sure head and eyes stay looking forward. Quick, 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 quick. And go.